YouTube land. It's your boy, Mr. Lightwork, a.k.a. Coach Lightwork. All right, and we back, man. Now, this is not a Road to Glory video, okay? This is jumping into the deep dive of EA College Football 25, all right? Um, so, what I'm going to do is, I don't know if this is going to get copyrighted or not, probably, who cares? Um, we're going we're gonna to play the video, you know what I'm saying? We're going to check out the trailer and everything, and I'm going to stop it. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the trailer so we can really look at it. All right. So now graphics wise, it looks good. You know what I'm saying? It looks it looks good. All right. It's a little like the same uh, engine that Madden's on and everything. So let's let's talk about the first thing. Wear and tear. OK, I think this is better than fatigue. And this is something that. For all you franchise players that like to play Madden and different things like that, <clears throat> this is for you. Okay, I believe this is for you. All right, let me let me blow this up. See, okay, this is for you. Okay, um, we got abilities and we got home field advantage. All right, home field advantage has always been in college football, so let's just talk about it. All right, um, the wear and tear. Okay, let's talk about it. So you see right here, you got a linebacker blitzing, about to hit the quarterback, right? Which looks really good. Looks really well. You know what I'm saying? Looks really good. The running back probably should have stayed in the block or whatever. But anyway, all right, boom, he takes the hit, right? Now, they're, they're targeting areas where he has been hit, okay? You got slight, high, and severe, okay? So if he just got blown up in the chest, you know what I'm saying, that, that area is going to be red, all right? Or if he got hit, if he's the quarterback and he was in a throwing motion, you know, this area to his arm will be affected, you know what I'm saying? Let's jump, let's, let's continue to look at it. And I think this is really dope, you know what I'm saying? And this is going to be something for us dynasty guys that have, you know, we have this star running back. Let's say we have a star running back. And... You know, we can't run him every play. So what's going to happen? His leg's going to get tired. His body's going to uh, start turning from, you know, whatever colors to, to red. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have to rotate guys in and out. You know what I'm saying? Injury has always been a thing with Dynasty mode in um, college football. Okay. Um, so right here, Arnold gets blasted, right? He gets hit. And... If he takes another big hit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, that's dope, man. All right? And then, obviously, it affects the ball carrier. So, he's been hit again. Boom. Now he's out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's really dope. I think that's a really uh, dope thing to add it in. Now, here's where they get out of hand. This is where they lose their minds, Okay? Look at all these abilities. <laughs> all of these abilities? Like, come on, y'all. Really? Really, dude? Come on now. I mean, it's like playing mutt. You know, it's like playing mutt. Now, what I've been hearing is that these abilities are not overpowered. Because if your wide receiver still has a, uh, a catching ability, you know, whatever he could still drop the ball, especially in pressure situations. You know, um, like, now I did like this sidestep. I did like this. You know, but I feel like only certain players should get that, depending on uh, weight and, bi like, their build. You know, height, weight, you know, all that should matter. Um, I feel like they should take out the balance abilities because – why, if you get big hit, why do you get uh, the ability to stay on your feet? You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that. But, um, obviously, like I said, we, we've we dealt with um, home field advantage. We've seen this before, which it's not a, a, a bad thing. I think it makes it more realistic, being honest. You know what I'm saying? Because now you go into Death Valley. Okay, so look, right here. All right, let's go back a little bit. Let's go back. You know what I'm saying? When you go into Death Valley, it should it should bother your team. 
All right, it should bother your team. Now, Donovan Edwards, okay, he has safety valve, sidestep, and takeoff, okay, which is great, but he has takeoff, and he's not a wide receiver. Y'all see what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Now, if he had an ability that makes it hard for him to be covered uh, out the backfield, like backfield uh, matchup or whatever that thing is called in Madden, then I get it. But, like, again, like I said, when you put these abilities in a game, can they be overpowered and can they mess up the game? I liked when they did – I like when they did impact players. Hey, these are your impact players. These are your best players on the field. And if they would have went with that, I think everybody would have still been, you know, everybody would have been happy. Okay, so now you got Dot. Standing in the pocket, uh, moderate accuracy boost when throwing to open receivers. Okay, step up. You know what I'm saying? Stepping up in the pocket, not under pressure. Slide a hand. Increase ability to hold defenders using play action on first down or less than three to game. So basically you're going to, it's going to force my players to slow react or, you know what I'm saying? So can that be overpowered? I don't know. Uh, okay. Like I said, balance. Okay. You get hit stick and, uh, you know, you keep your balance and then strip attempts. You keep your balance. Now, again, Something that makes sense. This makes sense. Workhorse. All right. Ollie Gordon is a top running back in the nation in college right now. You know, so him being the workhorse makes sense. You know, he should be able to take the punishment. He should be able to take or uh, carry the ball 20 times in a game. You know, y'all y'all see what I'm saying? That, that's That makes sense. Um... But the triple option, I'm definitely running. I'm definitely running. Okay. Uh let's 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 go. Okay, we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about home field advantage because we've already known about that for a long time. Uh if you play NCAA football, you know. Uh let's get let's click through this. I think the next big thing I want to talk about is okay, the playbooks. Obviously, if you run with Air Force or you run with Army or you run with these triple option teams, you're going to have this type of uh, playbook. You know, flex bone, power eye, Maryland eye, pistol, you know, better with running quarterbacks, like a, a Alabama, like Milrow, you know, those type of guys. Um, so, and then something they said, uh, okay, so here's some of the coaches adjustments, okay? Tempo, you got two clock, and then you have a turbo. You have turbo. All right, or basically hurry up offense. Um, and then you got the deep pass catching, uh, blocking, and so on. All right. But something they touched on that I'm not going to play on the uh, video, but they, because, you know. All right, so wide splits. Okay, wide splits. If you're using Oklahoma's playbook or um, Oregon's playbook, or I want to say like Ohio State, those guys' playbooks have them outside the, outside the numbers, okay? So there's going to be routes they running from outside the numbers, okay? You're going to have to adjust. You're going to have to figure it out, which creates running lanes, you know, running lanes for, um, for the offense, okay? Y'all got to understand, for all my people that's coming from Madden to NCAA, this is how college football is. If you do not watch college football, if you uh, you don't know anything about college football, this is how college football plays, okay? This is not Madden. This is not the NFL. This is college football. This is how – it's very hard to play defense in college, okay? It's very hard, okay? Like I said, they, they, they got the uh, triple option going and everything like that, which I'm about to run to death. I'm about to have, like, six running backs. Oh, Something they touched on was you basically get to control the trick play reverse handoff. You get you can control that if you want to give the ball, if you want to keep the ball. I think that's really dope. I think, whoo, 
That's going to be crazy, boy. But then, you know, people are going to be weird. They're going to spam it. And it's going to get out of hand. The revamp pass, passing, we're not going to touch on for real because it's basically Madden. It, it's, it's basically Madden, you know. Um, they make it sound like it's new, but it's really not. Um, they have the little passing meter, the throw power meter and everything. So y'all can check that out. Um, see, get the full bar. It's going to be a bullet. Get a lob. You know, stuff like that. So it's, it's basically like Madden. Now, these are the, some of the quarterback animations. Looks just like Madden, basically. Basically Madden. Um, so let's move on. Something I want to touch on is right here. All right? Right here. Okay? Now it's truly custom. It's truly custom. Okay? Look at the the far right. We're not talking about the first two two squares, the two blocks. We're not worried about those. Okay? Because those are what they are, okay? But when you look at the far right, you got deep cross, you got a deep dig, triple option. That's probably to your slot receiver. I doubt they're going to have that with the uh, the guy on the, the outside. So it's probably with your, your, um, your slot receivers, okay? And then you got a bang eight, okay? But right here, I don't know if y'all can see my cursor or not, but right here, custom stem. Custom stem is very important because now you can customize how far a route goes. You know, where they're cutting at, where they're going to do their little comeback move at. You know, that's really dope, man. That's that's out of this world. Like You saw how he changed it right there to get the first down. And then you got this uh, curl route that goes right before the, uh, right to the first, first down marker. Now, I want to show you all something. Okay. It's the right stick, the right stick. So basically it's moving your players. So, all right. So you see him, he's going to the wars, the, the middle of the field, but he's going to throw it to Y. And with the flick of the right stick to the left, watch how this uh, safety breaks on the ball. All right. A little unrealistic, but y'all know how it is. It's, it's a video game. And then we got the kick meter. Also, again, you got your hot routes and everything. Now, I wonder, was the triple option a part of the slot or was that a part of a player, like just that certain player? Um, and I believe these are the outside uh, receivers. That's what I believe. All right. So, I mean, being honest, man, the, the game looks good. Everything looks good. Um, you know, I know people are going to say, oh, this is just a Madden reskin. Okay, they're on the same engine. You know, deal with it. But how the game is going to play, it looks much faster than Madden. Um, the biggest worry I have is the abilities. Is the abilities. And then those abilities are going to be a main focus in Dynasty. Okay, it's going to be in Dynasty and I believe in Road to Glory. Regular head-to-head -head and, and stuff like that, I mean, it is what it is. Um, you know, they're going to be preloaded. And also, understand, you're not going to be able to change the ratings of these players, okay? Those ratings are those guys' ratings. So you're not going to be able to change no ratings on the, uh, the player. But I love it. I think they're headed in the right direction. I think EA, if this game is 80% of what they're promoting it to be, I think a lot of us will be happy. Now, will this hurt Madden? Probably, because it has so much replay value. But, um, you know, it is what it is. But I love the gameplay. I love what they have put together. You know, I love it, man. I love it. So, you know, that's my review on it. I'll probably do another deep dive really on it at a later time. But for right now, that is it. I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. Light work out. Peace.